2024 has to be one of the wildest years in space exploration. We've seen all kinds of stories, from huge successes to major failures. On one hand, we've got the Starship, which is the biggest success story of the year. On the other hand, there's the Starliner, which has struggled a lot. But right in the middle is the Dream Chaser, a spacecraft that's hard to pin down as either a complete success or a total failure. The Dream Chaser has had a roller coaster journey from the start. Recently, it's hit some bumps that even made its biggest supporters start to doubt the project. In this video, we're going to dive into these issues and talk about what's been going on with the Dream Chaser. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on the Starship and other exciting space news. The Dream Chaser project started in 2004 under Sierra Nevada Corporation. Unlike other spacecraft, Dream Chaser was designed to be a reusable space plane capable of landing on conventional runways. This feature made it unique and generated a lot of excitement. In 2010, the project received a contract from NASA's Commercial Crew Development Program. This was followed by a significant win in 2016, when NASA awarded Dream Chaser a $2.6 billion Commercial Resupply Services II contract to deliver cargo to the International Space Station. The spacecraft's ability to transport cargo and potentially astronauts combined with its runway landing capability set it apart from competitors like SpaceX's Dragon and Boeing's Starliner. However, Dream Chaser's journey was not smooth. Technical challenges have caused significant delays. Developing the thermal protection system and meeting rigorous safety standards took longer than expected. Despite completing several successful tests, such as glide tests and environmental testing at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility, progress was slower than expected. Recently, Dream Chaser faced another hurdle. Sierra Space had to delay its integration with United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket, pushing the expected launch date further into the future. Initially planned to launch in 2023, the first mission is now looking at a potential 2025 launch window. This delay has led to doubts about the project's future, even among its supporters. In May, Sierra Space's uncrewed spaceplane, Dream Chaser Tenacity, arrived at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, ahead of its first flight to the International Space Station. The arrival marked a significant milestone, moving closer to the spacecraft's long-anticipated mission. At Kennedy Space Center, the remaining pre-flight activities included acoustic and electromagnetic interference and compatibility testing, completing work on the thermal protection system and final payload integration. Despite these preparations, the project faced a setback. Sierra Space identified significant risks that could prevent meeting the mid-year flight date. As a result, United Launch Alliance decided to launch a mass simulator instead of waiting for Dream Chaser to be ready. This decision is crucial for ULA's Vulcan rocket certification, which requires two flight tests by the U.S. Space Force to qualify the vehicle for future missions. Certification will allow ULA to begin launching frequent national security missions. The challenge isn't just Dream Chaser missing its second Vulcan flight, but also the rocket's packed schedule. If Vulcan is certified after the scheduled launch in September, ULA plans to launch two Space Force missions before the year ends. This tight schedule and limited Vulcan hardware could significantly delay Dream Chaser's next opportunity. Each Vulcan rocket is expendable, which means new construction is needed for each mission. The second Vulcan has just arrived at the Cape, but it appears the next three Vulcan launches will not include Dream Chaser. But still, Dream Chaser tenacity has made significant progress including rigorous environmental tests at NASA's Neil Armstrong Test Facility. After these tests, Dream Chaser was shipped to Florida for the final round of pre-launch tests, including acoustic and electromagnetic interference tests and completing the thermal protection system. The spacecraft can carry up to 7,800 pounds of cargo to the International Space Station and return 3,500 pounds to Earth. The Shooting Star module, which accompanies Dream Chaser, can dispose of up to 8,500 pounds of trash by burning up during re-entry. When we hear how other companies struggle to meet their expectations, it's hard not to appreciate the one company that completed their project on time. SpaceX. 
NASA originally picked SpaceX, Boeing, and Sierra Nevada Corporation's Dream Chaser for its commercial crew program. SpaceX received $2.6 billion, and Boeing received $4.2 billion. SpaceX, under the leadership of Musk, developed the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Since its first crewed flight in May 2020, Crew Dragon has successfully transported astronauts to the ISS multiple times. Its ability to launch on time and meet NASA's rigorous standards has set a high benchmark in the industry. Boeing's Starliner, on the other hand, has faced significant challenges. Despite receiving the largest portion of NASA's investment, nearly double that of SpaceX, Boeing has struggled to deliver. The first uncrewed test flight in December 2019, known as the Orbital Flight Test, failed to reach the space station due to software issues. This failure delayed the program significantly. Subsequent tests were postponed multiple times due to ongoing technical problems. Boeing's second uncrewed test flight finally launched in May 2022 after several delays and was successful. However, the initial setbacks and prolonged timeline have been a point of criticism, especially considering the large budget allocated to Boeing. The delays have also meant that astronauts who were supposed to rely on Starliner for transportation have had to extend their stays on the space station or use alternative transportation methods, primarily SpaceX's Crew Dragon. Recently, Boeing has been facing not just technical problems, but also public scrutiny for risking the lives of astronauts. The company finally launched its first crewed Starliner mission on June 5, 2024. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams were the first to fly in Starliner, lifting off from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. The mission started successfully with the Starliner reaching orbit and then performing additional maneuvers to adjust its path. It docked with the ISS the next day on June 6. One might think the problem had ended with the docking of the spacecraft at the space station, but an even bigger problem showed up after the docking. Boeing's Starliner faced multiple issues, including helium leaks and thruster malfunctions, which forced NASA and Boeing to delay the return of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. Originally planned for June 25th, the return date has been pushed back to early July and there is still no specific return date set. These technical problems have caused significant uncertainty. NASA's commercial crew program manager, Steve Stick, stated that they are taking extra time to understand the issues fully. The team is focusing on the helium system leaks and thruster performance, which were observed during the rendezvous and docking. Many experts are now suggesting that NASA should pull out of the contracts with Boeing and even Dream Chaser. This would mean relying solely on SpaceX's Dragon, which, while successful, poses a risk of creating a monopoly. The reason NASA initially picked multiple companies was to avoid such a monopoly and ensure there were backups and alternatives. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.